This is right under my kitchen sink. Uh, this is where it normally had dropped down. And what I did is I added this valve. It's called a, uh, I don't remember what it's called anymore. It's made by Jandy Valves. And it costs like 60 bucks on Amazon. Uh, the normal path that it had taken in the past was that the water came down and then went out to the, the septic system and all that. Uh, and I added this so it splits it off and heads out to the greenhouse out there. Um, this has been a, a, a great little boon for me uh, to be able to not, um, you know, just be dumping precious water out when I can be using the water plants. Uh, and I just started on my kitchen sink because I figured that uh, I could try it out and, uh, you know, see how I liked it. And also, if I collect water from other sources in the house, I can dump them down the kitchen sink and they can save that way. Um, so this was fairly simple, just involved cutting the pipe in a couple places, installing the valve, and then running uh, the new pipe out. Uh, the original pipe was this black EBS pipe. I couldn't buy that when I was uh, doing this uh, little gray water retrofit. Uh, so there was this white, might be PVC pipe, I think. Um, it's too bad it wasn't gray because it's gray water. Um, but, you know, we can't, oh, oh, there it is. In a moment, I'm going to bring you out to the greenhouse, and you're going to see... Huh. And you're going to see what's been going on with where the gray water comes out. There's been a squirrel up there digging for months. I've been trying to catch it. You'll see that in a moment. You want to go there now? I'll go there now. No, 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 no. I want to show you the bathroom first. Because I'm doing gray water in the bathroom in a very primitive way, which costs pretty much nothing to do, actually. You can do that very easily. Oh, I hear him scratching. He's scratching at the wall. You probably can't hear it. It's very subtle. Ah, we have bobcats coming into the state. Just starting to come back. People are thinking about hunting them. I'd really prefer they left them alive so that they could attack and kill all the squirrels and mice. Let's check out the bathroom. So we're in the bathroom. <clears throat> Sorry about the mess. The one skill I don't have is sewing. I never learned to sew. I want to put a curtain up there. But I don't really know how to sew. I, I kind of know how to sew, but I have a sewing machine that doesn't work that great. And I don't know enough about it to get it really going. I can sew by hand. That's not going to happen. So in the bathroom. Uh, bathroom sink right here. Uh, one great way of turning, uh, I'm sorry, one great way of saving water is this. This is the cold water. Full blast. I got it turned off a little bit down below so that uh, when the boy plays in the sink, it um, doesn't kill a lot of water. The, the hot water is even slower. That's a great way of saving water. It's great for doing dishes too. It's really zen. I don't do dishes in the bathroom sink, in the kitchen sink, but I got it turned down there also. Uh, not the cold water though, because you know, sometimes you gotta fill things up. So underneath what I did was this. I just put a jug down here. I uh, disconnected the uh wow, I need two hands to do this. And one's holding the camera. We'll see how this works. Uh, maybe one one hand and a foot. Oh boy. Oh, this is a bad idea. There we go, there we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Almost got it. There we go. Ah, so what I did is I disconnected the, uh, uh, I don't know, I took some of the pipes out so now the water just drops down like a little chute and goes into here and fills up this five gallon jug that I got at my grocery store for free because they were just throwing it out. You can't have uh, laundry soap or something in it. So I can take this and I can bring it outside and water plants or what I usually do is I just dump it in the kitchen sink to get rid of it that way and to water the greenhouse. So this was super simple. All I had to do was remove some pipes and um, it didn't cost anything. So if you want to start with your gray water without having to put any real investment, this is a great way to try starting 
starting it off. And it just makes you more conscious about how, how much you waste. This is just today, because uh, uh, my boy was playing in the sink. And you can see the water level is just about there. It had been there this morning, so he used that much to play with. That's probably two gallons, two gallons of fun. So, yeah. Let's go out to the greenhouse now, and you can see the area where all this gray water goes out to water things that get dug up by a squirrel right now. Do you want to say hello? Just a boy. <laughs> you playing in the dirt? No. Uh, so yeah, gray water. Uh, it's a really cool concept. Um, it is the whole legal thing with it kind of being legal and sort of not. Um, but uh, it's a great way of tapping a bunch of your waste and getting two things done at the same time, which I love. The uh, main issue uh, is that gray water has a lot of um, you know, deliciousness in it yeah, from you know, whatever you wash down the drain. And it, it's been kind of attracting creatures. Um, right down here is where uh, it comes out from the house. I got this uh, trap over here that's been set for pretty much every evening for several months uh, there's a, an old apple in there um, I'm starting to think that whatever is digging in here isn't interested in the apples it might be interested in all the worms that are living down here it could be that I don't really know I don't know what it is yet but uh, that's one issue with the gray water is that it's really attractive to creatures and things like that I think there's a hole here yeah there's a hole there every night it, every morning we wake up and there's a new hole right mm -hmm. Yeah, they they just dig these tunnels and holes and. I must get this. Uh, you want to use the shovel? Yeah. I caught a red squirrel yesterday, and I thought that was it, but then this morning there were more holes. So, either it was the red squirrel and has an accomplice, or the red squirrel had nothing to do with it at all. River, you're not going to dig in the garden down there, are you? <sighs> no, we don't dig down there because then it'll kill all of our plants. No, no, it's it stops. Yeah, the water usually stops down there. Oh, that's the thing. Um, when you first start with your, your water, uh, it, it really permeates down into the soil really fast, but as you build up more organic material, um, the water will travel further and further. At first, uh, the water from this was only traveling to water two blueberry bushes that I had in there, and as it sort of compacted the soil and filled it up with you know little bits and gr of grit coming out of, the, uh, coming out of the sink, which is where I'm tapping from, uh, the water would travel further and further and further. So if when you first install it, it seems like all the water is just going right in one area and all your plans for, you know, snaking through a bunch of plants aren't going to work out. Uh, wait a while and see if it packs down. Um, River, you're digging in the... Uh, yeah, we don't really want that dirt there. That was... The animal put that dirt there. <sighs> I have two animals in my greenhouse right now. <laughs>